Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me on the 70 Soul Sister channel. Um, this video is going to be focusing on um, the equipment needed for the three platforms, the Arise, LiveOps, and Working Solution platforms. I've gotten some questions from previous videos um, just asking about equipment needed and some contract questions. And so I thought I'd make a um, one particular video about the equipment and touch on some of those contract questions. So what I wanna do is share my screen and go to each website and show you where to find um, their equipment um, qualifications or requirements. Um, so we're going to start with LiveOps, and if you put in LiveOps.com, it will bring you to this landing page, and you will click on Become an Agent, and then just scroll down um, until you get to um, see requirements, and click that on, and the first thing that will show up is the areas that um, are eligible for um, becoming a live ops agents, and those are the states. And as you can see, they are US states. Um, that's where you're eligible for live ops. So if you come down a little further, then they'll have background check information, telephone, computer, and security. So we'll start with computer requirements. And this is minimum requirements, of course. Um, if you have more, better than what they ask, that's great. All right, so internet and internet download speed. Um, internet, they, you have to have an ethernet cord um, that will go from your computer to your modem. They do not allow Wi-Fi. As a matter of fact, when you try, if you try to get on the main software, uh, like the program that you'll be using to do your job, it will not allow it if you're on Wi-Fi. And the download speed, um, they want five, a minimum of 5.0 um, MP, Mbps or faster. And the upload speed is 3.0. MBPS or faster minimum. And what will happen is all of this information um, is good to know going in. But if you don't know, they do run a computer check. Um, so what will happen is they will have you um, put a software, give permission to put a software on your computer that does not stay there. It's just on there for this particular reason where they will run a check and they will check your speed for your internet um, and see if you qualify. If you don't, then they will make suggestions of how to increase your speed. Uh, processor, that's what comes with your computer. They want it to be three um, gigahertz um, Intel Pentium P4 processor or better. And that will be found um, on the top of your desk of your um, laptop or on the front of your desktop or you can look in your computer control section um, it will give you that information uh, memory they want four gig of, of ram or better that needs to be left on the or available on the computer when you sign up um, operating systems they want windows 10 um, and it says some clients may support the use of Windows 11, um, but the most that I've worked with um, Windows 10 is the minimum. Um, Apple and Mac and Chrome are not compatible for live ops. So you have to have a um, PC or a laptop. You cannot have um, a Mac or a like a Chromebook browser you can use google chrome the latest version you need to have it downloaded or internet explorer 11. Uh, monitor you would have um, it has to be capable of displaying at least um, 1024 by 768 pixels 
or you would have to have dual monitors and dual monitors are strongly encouraged. I recommend dual monitors just for um, the convenience of um, seeing multiple screens. Like if you work for um, a company or a client where you can click on tabs and go back and forth and just working on one thing at a time, that's fine. But sometimes with live ops um, or a rise, you may be with a retailer where you have to have more than one screen up that you have to pay attention to. So that's where you would need your dual monitors. Sound, uh, sound must have a sound card installed and be equipped with speakers or headphones. And the headphones, I'm going to get to um, in a moment when we go back to telephone, what you should hear and go to telephone. And for the telephone, um, USB headset connectivity, and that's where you will hear or someone will hear you. And you would just stick that into your computer or, or your PC or your laptop. Um, and that will have, um, the company will have a specific um, software that you would download on your computer that you sign into every day. And um, that controls your phone calls going in and coming, uh, going out or coming in. Uh, for digital phone connectivity, connect now, this is talking about a separate phone line. And most um, clients do not require a separate phone line. Um, you should be um, connecting to your computer um, with that uh, USB headset. Um, the USB headset is compatible with your computer. For USB headset programs, the client will route calls directly to your computer using provided software. And that is going to be your usual case, the USB headset connectivity. I have not come upon a um, client yet that needs this digital phone connectivity, a different phone line. They just use that USB headset, which only requires your internet service. Um, that is going to be something that Live Ops or Working Solutions or Arise would have to tell you if you need a separate line. I have not yet come into that um, issue. All right, background check. Let's go into that because some people had that question. Why do I have to pay for my background check? All right, so process and timeline. Once you complete your application, you will be asked to submit a background check. When you initi initiate the background check process, you'll be asked to submit your payment for the background check. And as far as how much it is, um, that information will have to be given by live ops um, because it's something that can change. So I would not be able to give you that amount. My what I paid may be different than what they have, what they're charging now or whenever you sign up. And um, Sterling is the vendor that does the background check. Um, it takes one to three business days um, for the report to complete. And they normally send you back an email letting you know that it's been complete and if it's passed and all that information that they check on the background check. Um, they do a criminal history um, and just here they're given reasons why someone might fail, uh, felony records, misdemeanor records, any records involving theft. So that is live ops um, requirement guys, let's go over to Arise, and you will put in arise.com, and click on work from home, and once you click on work from home, you just go down to um, system and equipment policy, and then you would come down to download equipment policy. And that will bring you to all of the requirements needed for um, Arise. All right, and I'm just going to go down 
to this page that goes into detail. All right, now I want to maximize, bring that up a little higher so I can read it well. All right, so minimum recommended um, um, speed um, is um, Intel I class A or better, um, dual core 1.4 gigahertz or better. All right, your hard drive needs to be 20 gig or better available space. That's minimum. They do recommend 30. Uh, 60 gigs or more of total space. And that's the same minimum and recommended. Memory is four gigs of RAM minimum, eight gigs of RAM recommended. Operating systems, Windows 10. Um, Windows 8.1, this operating system is not supported by some client programs. Most of them that I've had to, had to deal with uses the Windows 10. And Windows 10 is recommended. Windows 11 is supported uh, on most client programs. Um, you would need to check the system and equipment section of the opportunity when you sign up or you're checking around to see what you want to sign up for. Uh, standard connection and speed as far as internet. Wi-Fi, again, is not supported. You have to be hardwired. Um, minimum 10 MP, Mbps download. Minimum 3 Mbps upload. Uh, maximum, I mean, I'm sorry, not maximum. Uh, recommended is 30 um, download and 10 upload. And again, they will check your system for you by with the software that they will ask permission to come into your computer. It doesn't mess up anything. It doesn't save on there. It just comes in and checks your speed. Uh, maximum latency threshold, 120 milliseconds. Um, minimum 50 milliseconds recommended. Uh, monitor recommendations is 1280 by 1024. Uh, screen resolution recommended is 1920 by 1080 full HD or 1080p. So I have um, the recommended one and it's not huge but it is big enough where you can see everything on there. It's um, a, a lot bigger than your laptop screen if you're just comparing it. Uh, dual monitor uh, recommended, I mean, I'm sorry, minimum may be required for some programs. It is recommended for all. Um, USB 3.0 port is required to be used with the USB headset um, and flash drive. And I will say if you, my laptop had um, a minimum a number of ports. So I had to buy um, this little connector that you can get that gives you extra ports. And it's not really expensive. You can find, I got it from Best Buy and I'll try to hold it up when I stop sharing the screen, but it's no big deal. You just look up on, Amazon, Walmart, any of those um, that will let you know, I mean, let you buy it. I think mine was like maybe 10 or $20. And it just gives you like three or four extra ports, depending on how many you need. I only needed three um, because I wanted to hook up my monitor for all the time. And I had a cordless mouse. Now, some places um, will not let you have cordless anything. They will recommend a corded mouse and a corded keyboard. I use a corded keyboard all the time, but um, you may have to have a corded mouse. All right, so let's go to working solutions. Um, working solution, this is the landing page, workingsolutions.com. And I went into frequently asked questions and come down. 
lots of things pop up. Come down to what you need, and what you need is going to go into internet information. So it um, says you need, of course, a quiet place to work. Uh, you need USB headset. Um, you need high-speed internet, such as cable, or cable, fiber optic, or DSL. You need a minimum of 10 uh, Mbps download, um, an up-to-date computer with at least 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, you need Windows 10 Home Pro or Pro for workstations or higher. And you need um, compatible webcam. Um, not all clients, most clients do not require the webcam. But of course, if you have a laptop, you will have your um, camera already there. If you're using a, a PC or a desktop, you would want to get a webcam. Um, now the client may require meetings every so now and then, and they'll require you to have a webcam. So I would recommend to get one if you don't already have it, um, just in case. Uh, computer requirements for working solutions. Um, now those we went over before, Windows um, 8.1, uh, Windows 10 Home, 10 Pro, 10 Pro for workstations, Windows 11 Home, Windows 11 Pro, Windows 11 Pro for workstations. And it says some clients are not yet fully compatible with Windows 11 and other clients are explicitly not allowing um, access from Windows 11 systems. So keep that in mind before downloading Windows 11. I personally have not downloaded um, Windows 11 yet. I am still use 10 until it is required. <clears throat> All right, and web browser, Mozilla or Microsoft Edge is what working solutions require. Uh, their processor, Intel Core, i3, i5, i7, i9, first generation or higher, uh, running at 1.5 gigahertz or higher base process speed. And again, um, they too will go into um, your computer and check all of these things before bringing you on board. And if you need something um, better than what you have, they'll let you know and give you time to get that. All right. And um, processor classes explicitly not supported. Intel Celeron, Pentium Core, Core 2, Anton, Exeon. And these are seem to be like, uh, um, I don't want to say older but um, you see them in older computers or just the um, lower, lower level computers. But anything up to date, like the HP laptops or desktops, anything up to date will normally have exactly what you need um, on your computer. Uh, random access memory, eight gigs RAM or higher. Inter internal storage, at least 50 gigs free space available, uh, display monitor, uh, minimum optimal screen resolution is 1440 pixels by 900 pixels or 1280 pixels by 1024 pixels. And you'll know that when you pick out your monitor, um, they'll have these numbers available, of course. And as far as dual, um, again, even with this, because working solutions have a little different or more selection of jobs than retail or um, retail type jobs. So they may or may not require dual, um, dual um, monitors. Uh, devices and peripherals needed. Um, external mouse wired is preferred. We do not recommend using built-in laptop trackpads. Keyboards wired is preferred. 
USB headset wired required, meaning they don't want the, because you can get the wireless um, headsets. I have one that can go wireless or port it. Um, I only use the wireless on my personal, for my personal use, because everybody always make you put in the, um, the cord. Um, let's see. Unified communications type headset, gaming headsets not acceptable, headset models not supported. Um, Logitech H390, Logitech H540, Cyber Acoustics AC4006, and MPOWHC6. And this is very detailed for working solutions. I have Logitech, but it's not these particular numbers. Um, I like Logitech. Um, USB headset is pretty decent. Um, I had one that was given to me from a company when I worked for um, a company for temporary work. They gave us the equipment and it was Logitech and my own that I bought is Logitech. So this is how you find um, the equipment needed and recommended for all of these platforms, guys. And um, I'm going to stop sharing for a minute. So if you need to um, go even more into detail or you want to go back over it, um, you can look at this video again, or you can go into each of those um, websites and follow the steps that I gave you. And it is very spelled out plain and simple what you need <clears throat> it's not a lot um, again I have a HP laptop <clears throat> I've had it for a few years now I've tried to get one with as much speed and memory as I could at the time to last me a while um, or if you prefer desktops that's fine too <clears throat> but I do recommend the um, additional monitor, the dual monitor act is, is a really cool process once you start working with the dual monitor. So you probably would want to go back to just one screen. Um, the other thing I wanted to um, um, talk about is the contract. I had some people asking, um, you know, now they've been accepted to the pick particular program, you know, now what do they do if they don't see any jobs? What you would do is once you accept it and they will give you access to the positions, you can take your time and wait for the right position. You don't have to sign up for a position immediately um, unless you, you know, you need a job right then and you see something that you don't mind. Um, go ahead and sign up for it because they do close kind of fast. Um, there's a lot of people on these platforms. And also the contracts um, usually um, definitely with live ops is a, usually a six month contract. So um, depending on the client, the client may be a shorter term, but your contract with live ops, you have to renew every six months just to say, I still wanna be an agent. Um, and you may still be with that um, particular client, but your contract with the platform needs to be updated every six months. Um, and also at that six month period, they can also decide whether they want to sign, um, continue a contract with you or not, if they've had issues with you or if you're not meeting what their standards are, the numbers, the metrics, um, they can refuse to sign a new contract with it also. So um, I think that's all I had to cover. I was trying to think of um, any questions that people may have had. Um, but if you're looking at this video and you have any further questions, I will be glad to answer them if I can or direct you to the right place where you can find the answer. All of these platforms do have a support system. They have a little chat that comes up when you go on their website that will direct you or lead you to someone that can, that, that can answer the questions for you. Um, they are pretty good about that. Guys, here is the um, port that I bought to have extra space. Um, this one even has like the old... Uh, 
where you put the monitor. Um, I know a lot of monitor has the HDMI cord now, but this one has also the old port um, for a monitor and it has um, a HDMI um, port back here. I use two of them for two of these ports on the this side for um, like if I use a corded mouse or my keyboard. I have my keyboard in there now. And also for if you need to hook up uh, internet through this or a phone um, um, jack through this. And this is called uh, J5 Create. Um, I honestly, I think I got it from Best Buy. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I think it was around $10, $15, maybe $20, but it really helps. So that is what I mean by um, an extra port you may need. So I hope this helps everyone. I hope this is enough information for you. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up to like the video. And um, also, um, I would love for you to be a subscriber. Be sure to look around and check out other videos while you're, while you're here. Click on the 70 Soul Sister channel button and check out other videos. And I will talk with you all another time. Have a great day. Bye.